14 years later. Second Milchan government offices. Congratulations, Kanan. This brings our total loss count to 127. I'd say that's a new record. <sighs> I remember the first time as if it was yesterday. My son was born the next day. How old is he now? He starts junior high next month. I see. It's, it's got to be that shadow. I mean, think about it. Its influence severs your data link every time. If we only knew what it was, then we could access the data he gave you. Kanan, it's a summons from Representative Helmer. Could you go ahead and report today's results while you're there? I'm not your secretary, you know. But today is my son's birthday. I see. That's unfortunate, but I suppose it can't be helped. I understand that it's data concerning the Milshan conflict. Is it really that important? Yes, it is. The truth behind the conflict lies buried within it. Hmm. The one who entrusted that data to you was a subordinate under my command. I had sent him in on an independent investigation. Yes, Jin Uzuki. Whatever happened to him? I thought you were a model with suppressed emotions. Don't tell me you're concerned about him. I'm just curious. He is the one who saddled me with this nuisance after all. <laughs> Don't worry about him. He's left the military. I hear he's doing fine. Now. I have another job I'd like you to undertake. Have a look at this. The 100 series Realian prototype Momo will be executing a dive into her subconscious domain at the Administration Bureau. I'd like to request your assistance. What's the timeline? I've been notified that our people have just now descended from orbit and landed at the spaceport. I'd be obliged if you could go and pick them up. Sounds to me like there's more to it than that. We've noticed a rise in recent activity from both the UTIC organization and the immigrant fleet. I think in times like these, it pays to take precaution. Understood. Don't zoom, zoom in on the hands. They're awful. They're just squares. They weren't in the last game. I don't understand why the last game did extremely well. They should have upped the budget. Your Holiness, I have news concerning the matter of the Y data. Chief Inquisitor Margulis wishes to convey the details to you directly. Very well. Your Eminence, it is an honor to be in your presence. Spare me your platitudes. I understand that the Realian in possession of the Y data has fallen into the hands of the Kukai Foundation. I trust you have an explanation for this? Yes, Holiness. It is true that the 100 series prototype that holds the Y data is currently in the custody of the Kukai Foundation. He just said that. 
or rather the second Milsian government. However, I trust you understand the significance of the situation. According to the URTV Albedo, the Y data is secured by a form of high-level protection, only accessible at the UMN Control Center on 2nd Milsha. Hence, the current situation. Preparations for our next move are already underway. Margulis. I've heard that the recent offensive against 2nd Milsha was the result of Cardinal Heinlein's manipulation of the Federation's military's upper ranks. What do you know of this? I am afraid I possess no intimate details of that. I would presume that all of the Cardinal's decisions are made in the organization's best interest. Your words. I would imagine it is safe for me to trust them. I have sworn fealty to your holiness. I would never allow myself to be manipulated by ancient dogma. Hmm, very well. Our fleet is considering an invasion of the demilitarized zone in the near future. I sincerely hope that you will not disappoint me. I understand, your holiness. I vow to deliver you good news. Margulis. Holiness. I don't like that you are TV. It reminds me of someone... someone vulgar. Okay. Sure you remember that. As you wish. <laughs> they get suspicious when they get old. <laughs> the weaker they are, the louder they bark. Pellegri, what's your status? Everything is proceeding smoothly. I have Herman and Richard pursuing the target as we speak. As this is an independent Inquisitor operation, I'm granting you permission to use the E.S. Issachar. E.S.? You mean those thousand-year-old relics? Do they still work? The E.S. is equipped with the Vessel of Anima. The Vessel of Anima. The Vessel of Anima was discovered at the same time as the Zohar. Its power rivals the military might of an entire star system. Handle it with care. We can't afford for it to get damaged, particularly after the effort it took to restore it. Understood. R&D report. File number 026643. It's just Xion talking. The anti-gnosis battle android, Cosmos, while undergoing startup and field testing on board the Federation cruiser Woglinde, awoke during a gnosis attack on the fleet. She initiated autonomous mode, even though that mode was still sealed and has been fully operational ever since. Cosmos is acting under her own volition. However, there are many unstable elements in her emotional program, and further improvements will be required. After the escape from the Woglinde, we were rescued by the Elsa, a Kukai Foundation cargo ship. We are presently descending into 2nd Milsha in order to turn Cosmos over to Vector's 2nd R&D division. Furthermore, while no! in the we took the 100 series observational Realian prototype, Momo, into custody. During this time, we were pursued by the UTIC organization and an individual called Albedo. Albedo's tenacious attack brought about the appearance of the Song of Nephilim and Proto-Merkaba. 
Kospo's actions allowed us to overcome these crises. I believe this series of actions by Cosmos has been greatly influenced by her black box components left behind by the late Kevin Winnicott. This will likely become a major focus of our future research. Report author, Shion Izuki, Chief Engineer. Cosmos Development Project General Operations, Vector Industries, 1st R&D Division. So good to be alive. Yeah, no kidding. For a while there, I was kind of worried. But somehow we made it back. I'm telling you, the crazy stuff the chief pulls always keeps me on edge. What are you saying? You make it sound like it was all my fault. Oh, uh, that's not what I meant. I, uh, hey, Cosmos. Thank goodness you were there. Man, you really saved us. Thank you very much. I am happy to be of service. Oh, Bridget Hoffman, where'd you go? Hey, we're gonna head over to the government office now. What are you all gonna do, Xion? Hmm. Well, we need to hand over Cosmos. I think I'll wander over to Vector's second division. Is that all right with you, Cosmos? Acknowledged. That will not be a problem. I see. Well, I guess you gotta do your job. You're gonna be here for a little while, right? Hey, maybe we can have some fun later. That'd be great. I'll show you around this place, Momo. Thanks. I'm looking forward to it. Wait, wait, what, 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 what about the three-year-old boy wearing a... All right, then. Shall we, Cosmos? Please excuse us. Goodbye. The cutscenes look so bad. What the? Hey, Chief, wait up! I like Cosmos's hair now. It's got like a lava effect to it. <laughs> I suppose we should get going too. Sorry. Could you wait just a little while? I'm going to report what's happened to the subcommittee. It appears that Dr. Miss Rahi has also arrived at Milsha as well. If you have a message for her. Really? Mommy's here? Yes. Please let her know that I'm looking forward to seeing her. Got it. I'll pass it along. All right. Continue your assignment until the delivery is complete. Acknowledged. Dr. Mizrahi. Yes, Jan Sauer. Is there something else? I am currently Ziggurat 8. So it appears. Momo is looking forward to seeing you. I see. I... I too welcome your arrival. You know, it almost sounds like she's scared to meet her. Eavesdropping is not a very admirable pastime. It's hard to be stealthy with his neon Say, green man, pants. How about upgrading to a modern carbon-based body? I bet. If we applied combat realian technology, we'd see some serious results. There's no need to play around with extending my lifespan. Sure about that? I bet Momo would be happy if you lived longer. Aww. I'll pass, thanks. I have no desire to prolong things. All right. 
You know who to call if you ever change your mind. I should go rejoin the others. So... Shion in this game uh, is voiced by Olivia Hack. I do prefer her old voice actor. Um, Olivia Hack is known for doing a bunch of stuff, like... A bunch of- a, a lot of stuff, a lot of little stuff, but um, I think most people know her as Ty Lee on Avatar The Last Airbender, and she did a really good job with that. Here, I think that she would have, she could have played Xion well, but here she sounds like she's she has a cold. Like, and maybe she did, who knows? Like, I, I, I don't think she does her best here, and I think that's, I, it might not be her fault even. Like, it's, it's probably just bad directing, because there are some um, voice actors that they keep in this game, um, but they do so much better in episode 3. So it was probably just not as good direction. I don't know. I don't think the voice acting in this game is horrible. But it's definitely not as good as the, the last game. Oh yeah, swimsuit. Angry escalator riding. What did mommy say, Ziggy? All right. She seemed very busy. Oh, I knew it. She's one of the contact subcommittee's head members. I'm sure it's a demanding role. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess I've got to do my best to help her out. They look so awkward. Great scene. What the? An ambush? <sighs> Junior, who are they? Albedo? No, it's not him. It's too gentle for him. Strings are so good. I love the music so much. Junior. Fire 
extinguisher? Yes! They're right behind us. Okay, we'll head for point two zero eight nine, the roof of Second Milsha Defense System Number Six. Good thinking. That way, the citizens won't get caught in the middle. Let's go. I think the citizens have already gotten caught in the middle. Honestly, okay, I'm gonna upgrade my uh, Second Milsha City. It's just called Second Milsha City. Okay. I guess this is a small planet. Um. Let's put Ziggy in the par party instead of Chaos, because we, because he can be our tank. We have his swimsuit, and we haven't used him yet. Uh, and leader select. Let's pick Momo. I feel like she. No, she looks creepy. I think Junior. Junior probably looks the least creepy out of all of these. Um. Just saying that because. No, I hate his green pants. Everyone looks awful because they made the models haphazardly because, like, why would they put work into them? They're only going to use them for, like, the first part of the game. They sh should have just had them in different outfits and we can presume that they changed along the way. I would not lose sleep at night thinking about that. If you feel in danger, stay back. So, uh, they don't explain why Momo has a bow now. <laughs> Before she had a magical girl rod, which I thought was pretty cute. The bow is cute too, but I don't know why they changed it. Wait, I probably don't need to stock this much. You can usually... Figure out what things are by process of elimination. Just like, if it's not B or C, if it's not B, C, it's probably C, B. Alright, let's call it a day. I love the voice acting change in, um, Junior. I keep wanting to call him Ruby, though. He's such a. has such a pretty name. Um. Aww. He he sounds more casual than he does in the last game, which I think fits the the style change of the game. Even if you might not agree with the style change, you can say that it fits the style change. <laughs> That's out of my jurisdiction. I wonder how long you'll survive. It's over. Wow. That did not take long at all. It's over. Don't let your guard down, stay sharp. Oh yeah, he looks like that in his swimsuit. It's kind of lazy. It's just a recolor of his regular outfit and then goggles. The other swimsuits look so much better. I've got no time for wusses like you. These guys are the same as before. It's over. Baby. No, oh, CB. It's over. It's over. Don't let your guard down. Stay sharp. Why are you 
doing this? So Momo has an ether-based physical attack, which makes her better against um, mecha mechanical things. And this goes for Xion too, but Xion's ether, um, Xion's attack is electric-based, and Momo's has no attribute. Um, so I like using Momo more than Xion. It would be not make sense to have them both in their party because the only zone they can hit is circle. Um, so it's good to have uh, either Xion or Momo in your party, and that's why I prefer Momo, because uh, she, you know. Eat this. Eat this. She's better at mechanical. What am I doing? That's A, so B, B. Oh, I, I didn't even going. finish that thought. Um, the reason I like having Momo instead of Xion is because uh, Momo's attack has no attribute, even though it is ether-based. Well, it has the ether attribute, but it... Xion's is electric-based, and while this is good for enemies that are weak to electricity, uh, like most mechanical things, um, if there is an enemy that absorbs electricity, then they'll just absorb it, and... So it's good for some situations, but not for others. Again... Make sure that you save the items you have. Only use them when you really need them. Um, if you can use a skill instead of an item, that's best. Because there are no shops in this game. You have to collect everything you get yourself. And it's not like there are very, very few items. But it's that once you use an item, it's gone forever. So you just want to think about it. I don't mind that there are no shops. They're back in three. You know, actually, I think on the back of the box on three, it says shops are back. We're headed for two zero eight nine. Tell Helmer to send backup. Like that's one of the main things that they wanted to put on the box. Sorry. What's your heading? <gasps> His coffee spilled. Got it. Strange. What was I just doing? Hmm, I wonder. Ninety's phone Understood. again. He still has I've already it. Already dispatched someone. I'll have him head to that point immediately. And he's the only one who uses a 90s phone Damn. across games. It's like a character trait. He just loves them. It's not even safe on land. 